Released in 2001, Spirited Away is considered by many to be not only one of the best Japanese animated films, but one of the best animated films in general. But others consider something that came out a year prior to it to be more influential to cinema as a whole. Me! I was born in 2000, and now I make videos about movies. Growing up, I watched a lot of animated movies, like most children do, but the films I watched were almost entirely American-made movies. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. I believe this is because my parents don't really care to watch movies with subtitles, and when a movie or show is dubbed over, my family would usually find it distracting that the lips didn't match up to what they were saying. It wasn't until I was a bit older that I had my first experience with Japanese entertainment, Pokemon. Like most kids growing up in the early 2000s, I became obsessed with the Pokemon anime as well as the video games. Alright, a brand new Pokedex! This new model is loaded with anything and everything you need to know about the abilities, temperaments, and habitats of the new Pokemon you encounter. I make it perfectly clear that Sanchu and Roshu are electric hedgehog Pokemon. You see? In addition to this, I became a big fan of the old Japanese Godzilla franchise. And when I was younger, I really enjoyed those properties. I didn't mind that the lips didn't match up right, and I didn't mind that there were some cultural differences depicted between America and Japan. But regardless of that, I never saw any Studio Ghibli movies. Growing up, I was aware of these movies and their influence on entertainment. I remember specifically seeing the movie trailer for Ponyo when that first came out, and seeing Totoro depicted everywhere. But despite being aware of these films, I never felt a desire to watch them. That was until, when I was trying to get ideas for my next video, a friend of mine suggested that I watch Spirited Away. Before going into this movie, I didn't know a lot. Um, basically, all that I knew was that there was a tall creature with a mask, and that there was some type of bridge scene that I had seen referenced in a YouTube video essay, and that was the extent of my knowledge. I never watched a trailer for the movie, I went in completely blind, and you know what, this movie is an absolute trip. My friend Nathan wanted me to review this movie because he wanted to hear the thoughts of somebody who didn't have any nostalgia for it. Because, and I know this from personal experience, sometimes nostalgia can kind of blind us a bit. But Nathan, I'm happy to report that even without any nostalgia, I found this movie to be one of the most impressive animated films I've ever seen. From the beginning of the film, I was really impressed by the animation that went into this movie. It was different than most of what I've seen in the past, and the reasoning behind this is because Spirited Away was made using hand-drawn animation, not computer animation. This type of animation takes much longer to produce, and because of that, the style is almost entirely extinct in the United States. The story starts out simple enough, with a young girl, Chihiro, with her parents, on their way to a new house. While on the way, they get lost and end up in what they believe to be an abandoned amusement park. While there, her parents begin to eat food at a bizarre food tent, much to Chihiro's chagrin. I looked it up, and yes, I used chagrin right. I feel so smart for using it. It was at this point that the movie starts to get very weird, but in a good way. Uh, the following is some updates I was giving to my friend Nathan while watching the movie. 10.53 AM. Text message. Dude, the animation is so good. It's insane. Followed by this random photo from the movie. Then, 10 minutes later, at 11.03. All capitals. The parents turns into pigs? WTF. Accompanied by a photo of myself looking both distressed and shocked. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, you might be confused, and if you have seen the movie, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The food from this magic stand caused her parents to turn into pigs. When I asked my friend Ethan for a quote about the movie, he said, and I quote, the visuals were pretty creepy. When she came back and her parents were full on pigs, oh my god, that was crazy. Ethan would then go on to reenact Chihiro from the scene trying to get her parents to stop by saying, Stop eating! Stop eating, please! And then the father saying, It's okay, we have a credit card to pay. From this point on, the movie gets more and more crazy and strange. The biggest criticism I have, and it isn't much of a criticism, is that the story itself isn't the most structured. It feels more like Chihiro going from scene to scene and interacting with this bizarre spirit world. 
but what the movie does extremely well is with its world building and character design. I felt enveloped in this world and the spirits and its very unique characters, and I feel like Chihiro is supposed to be the lens of which the audience sees this bizarre world. Later in the film, Chihiro gets help from a boy named Haku, where the vague memory I had of a bridge scene takes place. From there, he sends her to get a job in the boiler room, where she's introduced to the spider looking man, who I'm sure must have scared me a lot as a kid. What's your name, kid? The Human Spider. The Human Spider, that's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. When I asked my friend Steven what his favorite part of the film was as a kid, he said that he really liked the little puffballs from this scene. They were fine. He probably liked them because they were the only part of the movie that wasn't creepy scary. From there, she is sent looking for work from the leader of the bathhouse, Yubaba, who gives her a job and also probably would have scared me as a child. It was at this point in the movie my next update to Nathan happened, with me saying at 11.39am, I feel like this scene would have scared the duck out of me as a kid, followed by this video. So Yubaba decides to give Chihiro a job, and with it a new name, that being Sin. Chihiro's job is going to be paired up as Lin's apprentice, cleaning the bathhouse. It was really bugging me that I couldn't figure out where I knew the voice from Lin, and then I googled it and hey look it's Meg from Disney's Hercules. I really like Hercules. While working at the bathhouse, she lets in a tall masked creature that I talked about earlier. She also has the job of cleaning up a stink spirit. About this scene, my friend Ethan said, you know what really fucked me up as a kid? When she's cleaning that big ass sludge monster, and at the end, it's just a face that goes and then turns into a dragon. After this, the spirit gives Chihiro a strange looking piece of food with healing properties. One thing that I thought interesting about the scene where Chihiro is cleaning the stink monster is she's finally able to help him by pulling a bunch of trash that was stuck inside of it. The film then reveals that it was a, actually a river spirit. You could see this scene as a metaphor for how we pollute our environment and our rivers to the point that they look gross and disgusting. At least, that is how my friend Ethan deduced it from it. I don't know, I don't really see deeper meaning when I watch movies, but I'm just kind of dumb, so maybe that's why. The masked spirit is revealed to be a creature called No Face. The creature gives out gold to the people of the bathhouse, and when Chihiro refuses it, uh, No Face goes on the attack, goes a little crazy. Chihiro gives No Face part of the healing food that the dragon had given her, and this angers No Face. It causes him to throw up all the people that he's eaten so far. After leaving the bathhouse, No Face finally calms down, and Chihiro sees Haku flying around as a dragon form in distress, being chased by strange birds. By the way, something I forgot to mention was that Haku can turn into a dragon, and that's pretty cool. So Chihiro sees he's in danger and gets Haku to safety. He is badly injured by these strange birds that are like made of paper, so she uses the last part of her magic healing food to save Haku. This last part gets weird and confusing, so just stay with me. One of the birds that was chasing Haku turns into Yobaba's sister, and we learn that Haku was stealing from her. The sister also turns Yobaba's baby, who was a minor character I didn't really mention, and the baby gets turned into a mouse. Chihiro goes to Yobaba's sister to fix things, and Haku goes after her, promising to get Yobaba her baby back, if Chihiro and her parents can leave. Wrapping up the film, Haku is able to get Chihiro and the baby back, and it is revealed that Haku is actually a river spirit? What? Crazy! So Chihiro had to guess which of the pigs her parents were. She guessed kind of right, I guess, and Chihiro and her parents were able to get out of there and get to safety. And that was Spirited Away. I really, really liked it. It was pretty neat. So yeah, in conclusion, I absolutely loved this movie. It might be one of the best animated movies I've seen ever. It was just, the visuals were amazing, but also being kind of creepy and unsettling. And this just isn't the type of stuff that you usually see in an animated movie, because a lot of the times they're geared for younger audiences. And not that this is inappropriate or anything, but this definitely had some more like creepy, unsettling visuals. And I just thought it was phenomenal. After seeing this, I definitely want to check out some more Studio Ghibli movies, so, you know, in the future I might make a video on some other ones. Thanks so much to Nathan for recommending it, and if anyone has any recommendations for movies I might watch in the future, 
just you know leave it in the comments um, I'm trying to make this video a little bit different maybe less comedic than my other ones and just a different kind of style just testing it out so you know let me know if you liked it uh, I definitely had fun watching this movie and making the video so uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one sorry this upload has been a little late uh, bye bye